So f of x is a function equal to 4 plus 3x. Okay, so the first question is find f of minus 2, 1 over 2. So let's expand this. So what is minus 2, 1 over 2? It will be minus 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5, so 5 over 2. So now we place x by this value in the function. So f of minus 2, 1 over 2 is equal to what? 4 plus, so we place x by this, 3 minus 5 over 2, which is equal to 4 plus um, 3 times minus 5 will be minus 15 over 2. So now these two are just uh, fractions. So let's find a common denominator. So we will have two as a common denominator. So it will be cross multiply. So 2 times uh, 4 is 8. 1 times 15 is minus 15. So 8 minus 15 is minus 7 over 2. And that is your answer, minus 7 over 2. So now we move on to f inverse. So how do you find, let's first find f inverse. So we first have to let y equal to the function, which is 4 plus 3x. So now we have to make x the subject of formula. So 3x is equal to y minus 4, x equal to 4, y minus 4 over 3. So this gives us f inverse of x equal to, we replace y by x, so y becomes x minus 4 over 3. So now we have to find the value of f of inverse of 5. Replace x by 5 which is 5 minus 4 over 3, which is 1 over 3. And that will be the answer for part B. Question number 11. Y varies inversely as the square of x. So which is y varies inversely as the square of x, which gives us this formula. Y is equal to k over x squared. So when x is equal to 2, y is equal to 9. So we place those values and find k. So when x is equal to 2, y is 9. So k is 2 squared. So the value of k is 9 times 4, which is 36. So the equation now becomes y is equal to 36 divided by x squared. So we need to find the value of our y when x is equal to 3. So y is equal to 36 divided by x, 3, which is 3 squared. So 36 divided by 9 is 4. And that is the answer for part A. Okay, now moving on to part B. We have when x is equal to n, y equal to p. So the same function which is y equal to kx squared. So k is equal to so p times um, n squared. Right. Write down expression for y in terms of p when x equal to 2n. Okay. So the equation is what? So y equal to p n squared divided by x squared. So now if x equal to 2n, what is the expression of y? So replace x by 2n, so it will be p n squared divided by 2n squared. That will be p n squared over 4n squared. Cut, cut, it will become p over 4. So that is the answer for y. Question number 12. A school recorded the number of absent students over 50 days. So the results are shown in the table below. Write down the mode. The mode has the most frequencies, so the mode is 0. It has 25, which is the most number of days. Calculate the mean. The mean is we have to do 0 times uh, will be 0. 1 times 15 is 15. 2 times um, 6 is what? Is 12. 3 times 3 is 9. 4, 0. That means is we need to add all those numbers and divide by 50. So 15 plus 12 is what? 
27. 9 plus um, 3 is 13. So 27 plus 13 is 40. So the mean is 40 divided by 50, which is equal to 0 0.8. That's the mean for this part B. Question number 13. Triangle ABC is mapped onto triangle A dash B dash C dash by a rotation through O 110 clockwise. Clockwise will be this direction. Draw a label triangle A dash B dash C dash. Okay, so we have center O and the triangle ABC. So now we have to use um, our tools to measure the angle 110. So let's say I have to rotate from this point to 110. So where is 110? Let's measure the angle and we can draw a line to form the correct rotation. So that's 0, 10, 20, up to 110 is here. Right? So let me join the lines, this, to make a mark so I know where is 110. Right? So that's the for these two. And then for this one, let me join this two by the center. So the point C and O. Now I can measure this one as well by 110. So let's um, measure this. So that will be center O and then to the point C. So that will be 10, 110 it will be here. That's for point C. That's where they will lie, okay? So okay, so I just need to take my uh, compass and then go to the center O, go to point A, the first point. So when I do 110 for this one, it will come to this intersection. And then when I move to point B, I intersect the triangle here as well. And then when I move to point C, it will intersect the triangle here. So in this case, as you can see, I have three intersections, this point, this point, and this point. I just have to join them to find my answer. So let's do, so this will be the first line joining the triangle together. And then that's the second line. And that's the third line. So that's my triangle under this transformation. So just label the, the points. So this will be point A dash, this is B dash, and this is C dash. Question number 14. So in the Venn diagram, shade the region which represents the subset this and this. So let's take one by one. A intersection B dash. So A intersect everything outside of B. So it will be this outside of B. Right. And then we have the union C. So we have to take C. C will be uh, C is this big set. So that is your answer for this uh, subset. So now in a group of 36 people, students, 23 study Spanish, 17 study French, 4 studies neither Spanish nor French. Okay, by drawing a Venn diagram, otherwise find the number of students who study both Spanish and French. So let's say let X be the number of students who study both. Right, so if we draw a diagram, we will have this. So that's the first set. Uh, they intersect each other. So this is um, Spanish, this is French, and X is 30 both. So on this side, we will have 23 minus X. On this side, we will have 17 minus X. Right. And outside, we will have uh, four people who study neither. So that's our set. So what do we know? We know that if we take 17 minus x plus x plus 23 minus x plus 4 equal to 36. 
That is, if we add everything up, we will have 36 people. So we need to find the value of x. So this one cut off. So if we do the math, so 17 plus 23 is what? It's 40. 40 plus 4 is 44. So minus x equals to 36 minus 44. So minus x equal to, so for 8 minus 8, so x equal to 8. So your answer is 8, study both, ma um, both Spanish and French. Solve these simultaneous equations. We have 3x plus y equal to 9, 2x plus 3y equal to minus 8. So that's number 1, that's number 2. So from number 1, I can see I can make y the subject of formula. So we have 3x plus y equal to 9. So y equal to 9 minus 3x. Okay, so that's the first step. So now we place this in equation number 2. So 2 we have 3 uh, 2x plus 3y. y is equal to 9 minus 3x equal to minus 8. Now we have to expand the brackets. So 2x plus 3 times 9 is 27 minus 3 times 3 is 9x equal to minus 8. So 2x minus 9x is minus 7x equal to minus 8 minus 27. So minus 7x equal to minus 35. So x equal to minus 35 over minus 7, which will be 5. So now we have to replace x in this equation to find the value of y. So y equal to 9 minus 3 times x, which is 5, which is 9 minus 15, which is equal to minus 6. So your answer is x is equal to 5 and y equal to minus 6. Question number 16, evaluate. So 3 power 2 is what? 3 times 3, which is 9 plus 3 power 1 is 3, plus 3 power 0. So anything power 0 is 1. So that will be 13. That's our first answer. So moving on to this uh, fraction. So we have 4 over 3 to the power of minus 2. So if we want to make this positive, we have to flip the inside. So 4 over 3 becomes 3 over 4. The power becomes positive. Now we expand. 3 power 2 over 4 power 2 will be 9 over 16 and that is your answer for part b so now moving on to part c so we have 16 y to the power of 6 so what is 16 16 is 4 squared so here we have 4 squared y to the power of 6 power of half so now we'll bring this half in it will become 4 y 3 and that is the answer for part for part C. question number 17 part a some money is shared between ali ben and carl in the ratio of 5 3 and 2. so we have ben who receives 60. ben is this and he received 60. how much money is shared so we know that three shares represents 60. So what is the total number of shares? It is 5 plus 3 is 8 plus 2 is 10. So 10 is 60 divided by 3 times 10, which will be, this is 3, 1, 2, 0 times 10, 200. So that will be $200 was shared among these three friends. So now moving on to part B, we have expressed the ratio 3 and a half hours and 14 minutes in the form of K1. So this is minutes, this is hours, we have to first convert this into minutes. So three hours and a half will be how many minutes? So three times 60, which is 180, plus half hours is 30 minutes. That will be 210 minutes. So the ratio will come down to 210 and 14. Let's do a division. Let's divide by seven, we get two. And we have um, divided by 7 will be 3, 0. Divided by 2 will be 1. And that will be, divided by 2 is 15. So the value of k is 15. And then this is 1. 
Question number 18. So we have four cards are marked with numbers 1, 2, 3, 4. One card is chosen at random. A second card is then chosen at random from the remaining three cards. Okay. So we have one card and remaining three cards. So the sum of the numbers on the two chosen cards is calculated. Complete the table to show the possible outcomes. Okay, so if I chose card number two, so we have to add them up. So two plus one is three. Three plus one is um, four, five. This will be a five, this will be six, this will be three, this will be four, five, five, six, this will be six, seven. Those are the possible sums we can get from this um, procedures. So now, what is the chance, question one, what is the chance that the sum is less than two? Less than two. We don't have any chance. So it cannot happen. So it will be zero. So now, what is the chance that the sum is bigger than five? So for it to be bigger than five, we have to have six, seven, six. So we have one, two, three, four, four possibilities. So how many possibilities we have in total? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So 1 over 3. So this one will be 1 over 3 for the chance.